Hello my friends and welcome to my virtual room. Yeah, I kind of wish it was like that. <laughs> uh, yes, um, you see, as of late I've been in a very retro mood. As you can tell, of me playing, you know, a game, gear game that was never released outside of, outside of Japan. And I'm kind of taking a break from getting parts done for walking for a lunar walking school. Today we are in my vitre room. And I'm about to take you back to a time in which we all were kids or teenagers growing up. Some of you were Nintendo Holics, and some of you out there were Sega nerds. I was both. I was, I. I was, and still am, a go-between. This is something that I picked up off of Steam, which is the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive Classic Collection. And what you see here is basically the virtual room of, of what you're seeing right in front of you. Now, as you can see, what we mean, it really is that old, we're bringing it all back. So you got, you got this, which is that old rundown record player. You got the library of games, which you see here. You see some Sonic the Hedgehog comics right there. The Archie ones. I think I remember I have one of those comics, the one right there, right by the bedside, that, that's the one I, I used to have. You see a Sonic, a Sonic room, you see the Golden Axe in the corner, a skateboard, of course I never skated in my life. Over here, we all remember having that one little TV, and believe it or not, we actually had a TV like that at one point. Some some odd years back, you know the TV with the um, built-in VCR. Yeah, <laughs> the built-in VCR TV. Everybody remembers that shit. And then we got the Sega Genesis with two players. Oh yeah, that that, that that's that's the shit right there. And of course we have the credits over there by. Um, Uh, over there by our Streets of Rage, Shinobi, and Golden Axe posters. To be quite honest, I never had any kind of posters outside of what I'm having right now. In which one I always went to AX, I always grabbed myself a few posters for my room. I don't think I'm ever going to pick up any more because my room is sort of, my room is sort of filled with posters. I might just get some, excuse me, I might just get some, just for a second again of them, and I might, you know, put them up for the back, not entirely sure, but anyway, let us look into the games library, and see what we have, some I might just want to do, um, some I some I might want to do just because I want to do them, and others I've been wanting to do for a long time, but you know, haven't been able to. So some games I am going to do on this, and then others I'm going to do on my um, Kega emulator, or rather my Fusion emulator. So let's take a look at the library, shall we? We have Alien Soldier, Golden Axe, 
Gunstar Heroes. Landstalker! For you, I know that joke is right there. Um, Light Crusader. Shining Force 1. Shining Force 2. Shining in the Darkness. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage 2. And Wonder Boy 3 Monster Lair. Now, for those who are wondering, there are two different versions of Wonder Boy 3. One is called The Dragon's Trap, which basically is a part of Monster World and not, you know, it's not it's not part of um it's part of Monster World. Okay, for those for those who are wondering. And then Wonder Boy 3, the Monster Lair is basically based off the arcade version of Wonder Boy 3. If that actually makes sense. So basically the TurboGrafx-16 and the Master System version of Wonder Boy are basically Monster World. So it's basically Mon Monster World, Wonder Boy, Monster World, Dragon's Trap or Dragon's Curse, whichever whichever you like to call it. It's like having, say, Wonder Boy Monster World for the Sega Genesis. That's basically the difference. You got Wonder Boy Monster World, and then Monster Lair is basically Adventure Island. It's like an arcade version of Adventure Island. That's all I can say. But yeah, we got so many things that I plan to do. Namely, what I did, what I did with um, Sonic, th Sonic Three and Knuckles is I have the following. Let's take a look at these mods. And this one is Sonic Three Complete, which is basically an improved version of Sonic the Hedgehog Three and Knuckles. Basically, what they did here is they basically made a completed version of, you know, they, they, they actually did, like, a bunch of improvements on Sonic 3 when, when, they, when they put this out on Steam. So, you know, people out there, they wanted to mod the game, and they did it with such accuracy that they basically said, you know what, let's fix this game, because... There are, you know, some games were just so messed up, we didn't even realize how messed up they were. So, one of the many few games that I'm going to do on this collection will be Sonic 3, but I'm going to do it, but it's going to be more or less a revamped Let's Play of what I did when I had my, when I had my XP OS. Of course, the reason why I stopped playing Sonic 3 on on that is because my computer died. So therefore, Sonic 3 was never finished. Therefore, I never went back to it. Because I lost the footage. So I would have to redo the entire game from scratch. Plus, on top of that, if I really wanted to, and I really should, just do Sonic 3 and Knuckles count that as the full version of the game instead of just Sonic 3 and then do Sonic 3 and Knuckles. That one makes sense. Ah, <sighs> uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. I got some weird mods for this one because I'm not really going to play Sonic the Hedgehog. But more to it, I have Sega Master System Brawl. Yeah, Sega Master System Brawl, which uh, it, it, it's like um, all all characters from the Sega Master System, and basically like Smash Brothers. So that's gonna be like a future. That's that's definitely gonna be a future Let's Play in that. That that's simply gonna be a future Let's Play in that. Cause you know. I've already done Sonic. I don't really need to do Sonic. So, instead of me playing Sonic the Hedgehog, 
We're gonna play something different. Okay. Side three knuckles, streets of rage, streets of rage. Uh, let's see. Did I have any mods for streets of rage? Chill mode, yes. Chill mode is infinite lines, I'll select and all that good stuff. Basically, if I really wanted to get back on Streets of Rage, that'd be the best way to do it with mods. Ah, but, but this one, oh no, this one. I blame and thank Big for bringing this to my attention because he, he actually sent me something through Twitter. He sent me a screenshot of something that I think might be weird, might be stupid, and by all means awesome at the same time, and you're going to probably wonder why the fuck am I going to do this. For Streets of Rage 2, I have the following mod for it. Streets of Rage 2 Puyo Wars. That's right, Streets of Rage 2 Puyo Wars. Do I have any mods for Wonder Boy 3? No mods. Okay. So, you know what I think? Let's do it. Plop this bad boy in like so. Ah, uh, you remember this? <sighs> I remember this. And it's just like how it was back in the day. Okay, it wasn't like this back in the day. It really wasn't like this back in the day. I can tell you I can tell you that right now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, let's put the mods in, you know. You know, we got mods. Let's show off the mods. Yeah, I'm sorry. It is it is not what you think it is. Two decades later, Satan rounded up armies of minions. To invade the streets of rage. Streets of Rage 2, Puyo Wars. Yes, it is that weird. 
I know that's that's how it really does sound. As terrible as it is. As terrible as the sound is, I can do nothing just to do that, you know. Um I want to put this to full screen. I'm going to just the sound just a teeny bit because the sound might be just gosh awful terrible. I don't know why they would do this. The first time I actually tried it was okay. But when they do something like this, it's like, oh, the hub part is terrible. I don't need to update that shit. Oh, you can put it on any stage you want, but... Y'all know the story about Streets of Rage. Arl, Cracker, Doppel, April. <laughs> This is so terrible. This is so terrible. Yes, it is happening. This is so wrong. I'm beating up Puyo Puyo. Give me a second here. I need to fix something here. Let me see. Um,
Okay, now and I just found that really weird for some strange reason. There we go. I gotta do something about them emulator settings. The emulator settings just sound just bloody awful. Now then. Yes, my my jump button is right bumper, as strange as it is. You know, I prefer it to be its own. As weird as this is, as bad as it sounds, I'm going to play through this. Now I'm kind of curious if, if they actually have that just straight out frame layer. You're a bad puyo. Bad puyo. Arl's from another game, isn't she? Outcast. <laughs> oh god, it seemed like I've, I've crossed over. That one game that Mag did, but he just basically just stopped playing it for some strange reason. Yes, I am playing that game! Now I'm curious as to if they actually have this just for emulator purposes. Like, oh hey, there's a... Puyo 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 Wars! I'm sorry, for, for the Steam version, they gotta fix this. I'm not kidding, they need to fix this. Drop that right now.
This is as weird as you can actually get. But I think I'm just gonna show off Puyo Puyo Wars. Just at least just just show off a stage of how weird it really is. Oh my god, it's getting stupider. This game is just getting weirder and weirder. What the f- <laughs> Yes. A rolling flip. This is just sad. What in the blue moon is this shit? So if you're wondering, no, it is not, it is not what you think it is. This is just weird. That's what I find so funny, you just... I'm fighting an incubus. Really, this is just... Really, this is the most weirdest thing I've ever played, even if it sounds like total and pure shit at the moment.
This is the most weird and stupidest thing I've ever ever played in my life. Jump kick to win! I know derp foo! The ancient art of Aria! And the magic of Puyo Puyo! And Purirura. I gotta stop. Uh, yeah, I, I really have to stop because, like I said, this is something I would want to continue doing, but the thing is, the sound, the sound is too goddamn terrible for me to continue on. But, I leave it up to you, the populace. On my uh, on, on my channel, you viewers is if there is an actual ROM hack of this, would you like me to con Would you like to actually want me to do a let's play of this? Because actually, I'm quite concerned about how stupid the story really is and. If I'm really going to beat Satan in order to save the world of Puyo Puyo and the Streets of Rage and Pulirura at the same time, right before I have dinner or breakfast or lunch or wherever or wherever you're whatever you're having, please don't invite me to your house unless you want me to cook something. <laughs> anyway, that was just a just just a taste of how weird these these mods make your normal game just five times just as cool or maybe less than that. I've been to Tenkaichi and this was a look at the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive classics Streets of Rage 2 Puyo Wars. Stay tuned when I actually have something really stupid planned or something better sounding. I'll see you next time with more videos.